Okay, so today we are building another water feature. This time we have had Aquascape send us one. I don't even know what to say. That was good. <laughs> that was terrible. Put that in the blooper. All right, today we are in front of my mother-in-law's house to put in a pondless waterfall. If you've watched a lot of my projects, you know that usually I try to assemble a bunch of different parts from all over the place to save money and get used material. But if you're not wanting to stress about getting all the right parts or picking the correct pump, you might want to just get a water feature kit. And in this project, Aquascape actually sent me one of theirs for free. So thank you Aquascape for providing the supplies for this project. I'll put links to their website in the description down below and we are going to assemble this pondless water feature kit in my mother-in-law's front yard. All right, so this is their front door. Behind you off camera is the street. We are gonna build this fountain, this waterfall. It's gonna go right where I'm standing. So you're watching the before video right now. I've got a small trailer load of rock from my dad's property. So we're gonna unload this rock right here and I'm gonna lay out the pond liner and the reservoir material to figure out how big this is gonna be so that we can start breaking ground. My buddy Manny's here to help me move rocks. At the moment I'm digging this down and trying to level it off so that these can sit in here flat. Right now about six inches below the surface of the ground so that when I put rock over the top of this it'll be about level with the grass. But I gotta level this off for these before I put the liner in so that's what I'm working on right now. Dig, dig, dig. It's like 90 degrees out right now, it's freaking hot. The only reason my shirt's on is to keep me from sunburning. Because I think I'd be lobster right now if I kept my shirt off. So I was out hiking the other day with my older brother, like way up in the mountains, the Marble Mountains in Northern California, and we came across a big series of like high mountain lakes. There was like four or five of them in a row, and we kept crossing these real narrow creeks. A lot of them had fallen down between the big rock face on the mountainside where you could tell the rock had split and the water was just kind of cascading down between them off over like sheets of big mountain rock. And most of the rocks I picked up coincidentally are really flat and wide. So I think what I'm gonna to try to do is get a nice zigzag at the top of my waterfall where maybe if I do it right, instead of a stream that cascades down over waterfalls, I kind of want to make a sideways waterfall where the water kind of flows down a crease between the rocks and then cascades off the bottom. And who knows, maybe it'll kind of trickle out of that crease all the way down. But it's hard to see on camera because it's just dirt, but I've sort of dug out in the top here I've sort of dug out to the right side and I'm gonna to try to put a crease of rocks in there and it'll kind of come down like it's a mountainside and then maybe zigzag back to the left in sort of a pool and then have a creek stream that goes down and disappears into the reservoir. I realize it's actually closer to lunch than I thought so I'm gonna take a break and probably be at this later. So we'll, and just like that, the sun is behind the house so I'm, I'm able to work in the shade now, uh, but. That's why I waited for shade.
I'm not certain this is how I want it to look or if the water is going to flow correctly, but before I get too far ahead of myself, I'm going to go ahead and foam it and run water on it and see how it turns out. Okay, so I'm out of rock, I'm out of foam, my battery on my camera has 2% life left, so I'm done for the day, basically. I'm going to let the foam dry a minute longer while I'm stalling with this monologue, and then I'm going to run it and just do a test run to see what it looks like. This is test number one. Uh, this pump has flow control, so I'm going to maybe change up the flow a little bit, see what we get, but we're just going to run it and see what happens. I like it. Honestly, I think if I patch this, I'll get more water here. And if I patch that, that water will make it all the way to the edge. And if I patch that, this water will have to come around to this waterfall. And then I just throw a bunch of river rock on it and it's going to happen. Okay, so like I said, um, my battery's dying and I'm out of rock and I'm out of foam. I might leave this running tonight so when my in-laws get home they can see what it looks like so far. And we'll pick this up. Okay, so it's a new day. I've got more pond foam. I've got river rock, I've got more boulders, and I've got bark. Today we are going to touch up a couple of areas, foam a few more areas to redirect some water, so I'm going to shut this off to work on it, and then we're going to put the rock in, add a couple more boulders, and then bark around it, and then we'll be ready for plants. So far I really like how this is turning out, so I'm excited to keep working on this, and it's only going to look better from here, so I'm going to get to work. Alright, so I wrapped this thing up in less than a week. I started it on Saturday and then I put in a couple of short evenings after work. This may have only taken me 10 or 12 hours with the help of my friend at the beginning. So so we got the water feature done and the plants in and I put that bark around it to get a nice clean edge. I'm going to get some close-ups of it so you guys can see it a little better. But before I do that, I'm going to ask if you enjoyed this project, if you enjoyed this video, if you could give me a like and subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. I really appreciate all you guys' support. The ad revenue I get from these videos helps pay for these projects for the resources and the time. Without the donation from Aquascape, this one would not have been done at all. So thank you again, Aquascape, for sending me this kit. I hope you guys like this video and I have more projects planned. So I'll see you guys in the next one.